The only thing I really don't like about this hotel is the spy camera in the shower. <laughs> Why is that there? Good morning. Okay, so today is a 17 mile day and tonight I'm supposed to have dinner with uh, my friend Becky. I'm looking forward to seeing her. Uh, it's been really nice every night or every day at least. I've had someone, you know, to see like the first, uh, first night the Donaldson's came out. Second, uh, Michael and Isabel took me to dinner. And then yesterday, uh, Dave Chappelle, you know, not bragging, just a good friend of mine. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, tonight Becky. So it really, um, gives you an extra something to forward to look, you know, something to look forward to every day. And, uh, yeah, it's been great. On top of that, look at the freaking sunset. How can you have a bad day with a sunset like that? My name is Jamie. Why do I keep calling those sunsets? That's clearly a sunrise. My gosh, act like you've been here before, Greg. Does that tell you how rare it is for me to see a sunrise? I'm just, ah, uh, what can I say? I'm not a morning person. I'm just not a morning person. All right, let me get off my soapbox and get back to walking here. Well, there's something you see every day. Every time I see Domino's, I think about that awesome power scene. The two-way bling bling on eBay, Domino. Best sticker ever. Look at this. Somebody stole all of the traffic lights. Every traffic light missing. World's coolest driveway. So let's talk about this survivor casting call. So I would be shocked if really anybody from the show is there. I would be absolutely shocked. You know, usually these things, there's like a third or fourth year film student doing it or something like that. Stand in front of a camera, state your name, why you wanna be on the show, something like that. I will bet you my house, Jeff Probst won't be there. So for the people that think like, ah, that's fine, I'll get my five minutes with him, that's not gonna happen. Uh, my expectations for this, quite frankly, could not be any lower. <laughs> and that's okay, you know, it's, it's hard to set yourself up for disappointment when you're, <laughs> Your expectations are so low. Honestly, I'm not even sure why they're doing this casting call. Unless they're looking for something really specific, I have no idea. I remember when uh, Big Brother came to the mall, they charged the mall a fortune to bring that traffic in there. I mean, they could make a business out of this if they just wanted to drum up support for the show or something like that, but I'm not really sure why they're doing it. I've never seen anything so beautiful. Yeah. Now this is what I call smorgasbord. They're getting bigger and plumper every day. Mm. Oh, that one was a little sour. Where have I seen this before? Good day, Mr. President. I'm literally in the city of Springfield, and I don't know where these deer think they're going, but, uh, I mean, I'm literally in the city. Ah, uh, they must be one of those creative arts deers. Are you even real deer? Birds aren't real. Oh boy. Be careful what you wish for. I'm back on a trail. These trails have been absolute godsends. I mean, I had four miles of cars flying by me earlier and I've had it so good the last two days, I kind of forgot how stressful it is. The cars flying past you. Well, what song do you want me to sing? Stop, uh, collaborate, collaborate and, and listen. listen. I got a call from my attorney from the bus crash that uh, coincidentally ended my second walk and um, they uh greyhound is deposing a ton of people and uh those haven't happened yet they were supposed to happen in june well june so i hadn't heard anything so the court uh got pushed back the trial got pushed back to uh 
February of next year. So can't wait to put it behind me. I mean, physically, yeah, I had some back stuff that, uh, thank God, Dr. Uh, Sky Shelby, chiropractor of the year, man, he knocked it out. Been feeling good since then physically, but man, that PTSD was horrible. Wouldn't wish that on anybody, but I'm on the good end of all that. I just, just wanna, <laughs> want it all to be over with, truthfully. Just, uh, yeah. So, at least I got an update. <laughs> I'll be honest, for being out in the middle of nowhere, I was not expecting such a nice looking motel. Excuse me, hotel. Someday I'm gonna find out what a suite is. This hotel has an elevator. Today's hotel room is brought to you by Chris and Lori. Thank you guys very much. They really are the nicest people. And Chris happens to be the only person in Ohio that's ever won the game of Survivor. While I was editing this, I realized, holy crap, Chris looks just like my other friend, Chris. <laughs> All right, so I think it was supposed to be 17 miles today, but it had me go in some like weird loop for no reason. So I just cut across and I think that saved probably a mile and a half, but uh, it was only, only took me five hours. So anyway, um, this hotel has a, a laundry machine. So uh, uh, I'm about to go do some laundry and there's a pool so I can pretend like I'm swimming while my laundry's doing what laundry does. <laughs> they actually have a pool and a fitness area. Then my friend Becky was kind enough to stop by and treat me to dinner, but she's probably best known for this. <laughs> this faucet looks like my teeth in middle school. Shout out to my parents for paying for braces and to Dr. Murdoch for fixing my smile. Happy birthday too, by the way. I might be a California four, but thanks to you, I'm a Cincinnati seven. 